Welcome to AudipediaWorld.com, your destination to online education. Friends, today we are going to start with a new topic that is introduction to the language of chemistry with the first topic symbols of an element. In this session, we are going to learn about the beginning of language, the definition of symbol and the significance of symbol. So let's understand the brief history of the language of chemistry. So friends, as we all communicate to pass the information, whether it is verbal or non-verbal means, we also use some symbols and gestures to make the communication more easy and effective. Similarly, the language of chemistry has helped us to understand the basics of the law modern chemistry with respect to the symbols and the formulas from where it came from as before 1680 alchemists try to represent the symbols that they use for the experiment by different kinds of pictographical symbols for example they use triangles for earth they use crescent shape for silver and many more. Then John Dalton, the scientist, the great scientist, used some other types of symbol to represent the elements such as they use he used circle for the oxygen atom, he used circle with the dot for the hydrogen and many more. Later on, Johann Berzelius suggested that its initial capital letter should represent a particular element. For example, he represented oxygen for of symbol O, hydrogen with H, capital H, C for the carbon and so on. He also noted that there are many elements which is having the same name. So he suggested that the first letter should be in capital letter and this he added the second letter of the element with a small letter. By his suggestions it formed the basics of the modern system of chemical symbols and formulas. So friends let's conclude this as before 1600 AD alchemists used the pictographical symbols then Delton used the circles to represent the elements and finally Johann Berzelius suggests to put the first letter of the element to represent them as symbol so what is symbol it is nothing but a short form that stands for the atom of an element woo our definition so let's explain this as each element is denoted by a symbol, which is usually the first letter of its name in English or Latin, which is actually written in the capital letters. For example, you can see here many elements I have written down here. Hydrogen with symbol capital letter H, helium HE, lithium Li, carbon C, nitrogen N, oxygen O and fluorine F. Are you noticing the hydrogen helium both having H and why helium is having H and small letter E? Let's understand by the example given by the elements by themselves. So let's see what they have to, to say about this. Hello, I'm an oxygen and my symbol is O. Hello, I am carbon and I am represented by capital letter C. Hello, I am Miss Copper and you can also call me Cuprum as well. Hello, I am Cobalt. Hey friends, can you all or anyone can tell me what will be my symbol as carbon is also starts with C, copper also starts with C and me too.
with the sea, Oscar Wald. Friends, I'll let you know how can we get our symbols as each element gets a unique symbol. First letter of the element it is in capital and the second letter in the small letter. For example, me, carbon, copper and Mr. Cobalt. We all have the first letter C, so we all can write the capital letter C. Now the confusion arises, how can B be unique? So, if I write the second letter of you both with O, it will also create a problem because it is not unique. So what will we do? Cuprum, this copper Latin name is Cuprum. We can write copper as capital letter C and small letter U. And for Mr. Cobalt, we can write capital letter C and small letter O. So now we have unique symbols for each of one. Like I am carbon and my symbol is C. Hello, I'm a copper. As my Latin name is Cuprum and my symbol is CU. Hello, I'm a cobalt and mine is CU. So friends, I hope you have understand now how symbols are actually presented to the elements to form a unique symbols. So now we conclude the symbols as each element is denoted by a symbol, the first letter of its name in English or in Latin is in the capital letter. And when the first letter of more than one element is same, the elements are denoted by two letters, first letter in capital and second in small. So friends, why do we keep symbols? What is the significance of the symbols in the chemical world? Let's understand now the significance of the symbol as the symbol represents the name of the element. For example, symbol C represents carbon element. Second, symbol represents one atom of the element. For example, Symbol C represent one atom of carbon element. Third, symbol also represent one mole of atom of the element. That is, symbol also represent 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 atoms of the element. That is, symbol C also represent one mole of carbon atom. That is, symbol C also represent 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 atoms of carbon. Plus, the symbol represents a definite mass of element. That is, symbol C represents 12 grams of carbon, which is equal to the atomic mass of the carbon expressed in grams. So I hope now you have learned about the significance, the uniqueness of the symbols and the importance of the symbols. So now I end up with the session giving you a small uh, activity. You just have to prepare a table of 15 elements with their respective symbols. Thank you. So in next session we are going to learn about the valency. Thank you friends to watch this video.